What's up guys, Rad Fam Adventurers. I'm just talking to the Rad Fam Adventurers out there. I thought I'd take some time right now to just show you guys what our sleep setup is like. We have the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV high Ultralight, volume. oh high volume, Darren told me high volume, Ultralight 3. And this has served us very well. Let's take this guy out. What you doing, Darren? Breaking sticks. Breaking sticks, collecting some firewood. Okay, so we've got the tent. Love this thing. There's so much room inside. It's incredible. Got the footprint, of course. Have to get the footprint. Helps protect your tent. And then your tent isn't directly on the ground, getting it all muddy. So this just gets more muddy. Although tonight we've got a platform, so we thought, why not go on the platform? So, footprint, right over there. Uh, here's the fly. Oh, and it's color coded, so it makes it really easy to set up. The orange we have denoted as watch out, beware, stinky feet. <laughs> so it's your feet. Orange biohazard. Is biohazard. Oranges to the feet. Maroon. Maroon strap, where are you? There you are. Maroon is head. Okay, there's the fly. Tent inner. We've kind of just gone with the stuff method, as you can see. Tent inner. Here it is. Poles, of course. And the stakes are in here too. So we're gonna set this up for you guys. Darren, you ready? Ready. Okay, here we go. Go. Just like that, the tent body is up. Let's go check it out. Really, really easy setup. That probably took us, what, like three minutes or something? But it is incredibly spacious in here. Mm -hmm. Love this thing. We need the space, because RL tends to... Uh... I like to spread out. Yeah. We might be getting a dog in the future, so. I'm not sure where I'll be sleeping. We have to have the dog in there with us. You'll have room, come on. But yeah, it's really spacious inside. All right, fly, let's do the fly. All right, there she is. All set up, not <laughs> not staked down yet. Uh, Darren, assistance, poor favor. Darren's getting the stakes. Improvise. Just cut a little notch in there, and now this stays, and I wedged it under the uh, platform. Darren also tied these out onto here. All right, sweet, Darren's still staking it out. And uh, I'll show you the next part of our sleep system, which I keep in this really cheap dry bag that I got uh, in Vietnam, I think, or maybe it was on AliExpress, either one. This thing works great. It says waterproof. It is, if it is rolled, I would not dunk this in the water, but so far so good on in heavy rains. So in here I have the Xped Duo. What's it called? This is the Schnozzle pumping bag. This is basically a two-person sleep system, which we found really nice. Um, so out it goes like this. And what we did is uh, we just leave the cover on here. We just roll the whole thing up. And this is a silk sleeping bag mummy liner for one person. But what we did is just uh, cut it down the seam. Well, actually, we just took the seam out. And then I sewed it <laughs> onto the bottom of this. So then we have a sheet when we sleep, which actually makes a huge difference. Gives us extra warmth, extra comfort. Really nice, especially when you feel really sticky. It's kind of good to have a little thin layer in between you and your sleeping bag. Uh, so you use this to gather air. And then you basically use this as a pump bag, which I really like because I don't like blowing these things up with my own lungs. It feels exhausting. So uh, I'll pump it up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Are you supposed to be doing this in the national park? It's a dead branch. It's a dead branch. I'm it still has leaves. A service. A service. Good job. We're going to have a little fire. Inflate. Definitely easier with two hands.
you'll figure out which technique works best for you. Kind of like the dance in a circle method, actually. Let's try that again. Darren's doing the practical work. So once you've danced around in a circle about 20 times, <laughs> okay, no, it's, you only have to fill up the bag twice, full bag twice for each side. So it's not too bad, but this is what you'll get. Aha, uh -huh. welcome to our bed, a boudoir. So here it is, all laid out. <laughs> The, um, this mattress is actually not the right, wait, why is it not? Okay, so this cover, I forgot, this actually comes with our sleeping bag and you're supposed to have two mats of the Nemo version, but we went with the X-Ped because it's a one, I think we got it because it's lighter. That was the idea. It was a lighter system, squished it in here. So that's why it, it's really tight. But hey, it works, it's nice to have the cover on. We debated whether or not to have the cover. We decided the cover felt nicer when you were laying on it and it's a long trip. So we wanted some comfort. If you were just going short term, I don't think it would matter. You could just sleep right on it. It's really not that loud or anything, but just not as comfortable. And here's the sheet. Ignore this tear that I did when I was still at home. Uh, but here's the sheet. So it just goes like this and it's attached. Nice little sleeping system here. If you're a couple or traveling with a friend and you just want to save some weight and it's definitely keeps you warmer. I like it. All right, let's go to the last thing, our sleeping bag. Record. Looks okay. Mm -hmm. All right, last but not least, our sleeping bag. This is also a dry bag that I got for cheap. This one I got in Vietnam. The other one I got on AliExpress. This thing has worked great. Keeping my stuff dry on the back of my bike. My pillow. My pillowcase is a little down pillow. Again, totally not an ultralight thing, but I think this is a Thermarest brand too. I can link this, but oh my God, I love this thing. It's worth the extra weight, super comfortable. Down jacket. Okay, and the sleeping bag. So once again, since we're doing a two person sleep system, we've gone with the quilt. This is just a compression sack from REI, 15 liter. All right, now this is the Nemo Tango Duo. This is the headpiece. It snaps in place with the body. This is actually just nice as like a little blanket when you're sitting down at camp or as a pillow. Darren sometimes uses this as a pillow when it's not cold, so we like this. And here's the quilt itself. Voila. And this just hugs around the bottom of the uh, sleeping pad. And this goes up to the top. And like I said, it snaps in place with the headpiece. So it keeps it all together. We decided to do this because basically it's like having one sleeping bag for the two of us. Uh, when you sleep on down, it compresses it. You don't really get the warmth. So instead you just have your sleeping pad underneath you. This on top, nice and cozy. So yeah, it's the uh, Tango Duo Slim. Down tax. And we've been quite cozy in this. We haven't had any extreme cold yet. It's held up. And there it is. You ready for the grand tour of our sleep system? Come inside. All right, so here she is. See, nice and cozy. Look at this bed. Look at this luxury. Look at this, like a turn, turn down service here. So if it's warm, we really don't attach this but for the purpose of the video, I thought I'd show you guys how it works. So it just wraps around, this snugs on the back. The other bit snugs around the bottom, keeps it on. And honestly, if you were just one person and wanted a super plush camping setup, I would recommend this. It's awesome. It's really nice, but it's just you can really spread out. Oh yeah, that's good. Good night. Darren, you wanna get in with me and you can see how it is with two people? Mm -hmm. okay. Now we're both in. Yeah, pretty cozy. Pretty cozy. Two people. A lot of space in the tent. A mm -hmm. lot of space in the tent. It's a huge vegetable. I can sit up no problem. A lot of space. Pockets That's here. Specific. Pockets here. Doors on both sides. Uh, no window. Nothing out here, but it's uh, really breathable because it's all, like almost all mesh around the edges. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, what do you think of our uh, sleep system? I really like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought it wouldn't. It would be too narrow, but we've definitely gotten used to it. Yeah, it takes a little adjusting, yeah. but I feel like that's camping in general. Mm -hmm. You have to get used to a little bit less space than you might have at home. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But I think I like having the one pad. Mm. Not two different pads. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be made. It's like two different pads, and they like slide into the cover. But we just cut the cover. Yeah. So the bigger one could just fit in. Except there's no crease in the middle, but yeah. I don't know. I guess we could always try it and see if that's better. Like, do you get more room? No. Yeah. I think we lose a little bit of room by doing this, but... Mm. But it's also a little bit lighter, too, yeah. which is nice. So, yeah, kind of going yeah. both ways with even, shedding weight and getting comfortable. Yeah. And even with the pump, I feel like sometimes it is a hassle to fill up an air mattress, but you're getting comfort. Yeah, and so, warmth. And warmth. Yeah. So for daily use, you know, it can get a little tiresome. So I don't know, maybe in the future we just go with a accordion, accordion thing or I don't know. We'll have to see. But so far. But so far. I like it in the quilt and we haven't been too cold at night because uh, our body temperature keeps us warm. Yeah, definitely being like together. Like us together. Like, and we have the silk sheet. So we've been fine. Plush. Plush sleeping. All right. So yesterday we forgot to show you Darren's pillow part of her sleep system. So Darren, are you ready to uh, show us your pillow? Yes, I'm ready. There you go. Cool. <laughs> this is my inflatable sleep pillow. I know, luxurious. It's the Cita Summit, super light. It's inflated right now. You could inflate it more. I kind of like it really squishy because I feel like the at the peak, it's too much. It's like too high up. So if you go like this, it's more like a down pillow. And inside is just a plastic. You can tell there's like a plastic bag. Yeah, it's a little crunchy. It's a little crunchy. So, and then RL made me a, a little cover for it. So we put it on over the top with elastic to keep it nice and clean. This is not my best work. It was a quick job. We were trying to make it there. lightweight so it wasn't all the way around, yeah. but highly recommend a pillowcase for yes for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. Keeps your stuff clean. You can wash it much more Easy. easily than you could a pillow. Yeah. And yeah, it just adds a little more comfort too. So again, a little extra weight, but a pillowcase I think is highly worth it. You can just grab some fabric from a fabric store and a square is really, really easy to sew if you have a sewing machine. So make a pillowcase, yeah. Back, back now. So it comes in this super tiny little bag. Um, nice. And you just squish it in there real quick. Go. Yeah, it's the premium regular Eros Pelo Cita Summit. Easy peasy. Okay, so as another part of our sleep system, we also use earplugs and a sleep mask. The earplugs, these are actually not really high quality. They're just the cheapo ones that you can get. And we've found that for long term, they don't really work that well. They're cracking and they just kind of get gross in general. We're gonna look into getting the uh, like moldable clay ones. If anybody has earplug suggestions, let us know. We don't wear them every night, but on those noisy nights, these really do make a huge difference. Sometimes it's just pouring rain and you can't sleep. So yeah, earplugs. Sleep mask, this thing, oh my gosh, we love these. We each have one. It's called Alaska Bear. Highly recommend it. It's really plush, really soft. Um, just one strap in the back. I think this thing is like 10 bucks and yeah, we're carrying sleep masks, but honestly, you'd be surprised even when we're camping how bright it can get, even like a full moon or something. So we love having sleep masks. If you are two people traveling together, I recommend getting two different ones because otherwise they're gonna get mixed up. In a pinch, you can use your buff or just a jacket. Sometimes I'm really lazy and I just put my jacket over my head, that's me. But yeah, I recommend getting a sleep mask, super light, and it does make a difference on your sleep quality because the buff just lets in more light. It's not as thick. So just to recap, the things that we have found to be totally essential for comfortable, but also lightweight carrying sleep system are a tent that has a bigger vestibule, but it's also ultra light. So we've got a lot of room, but not a ton of weight. Sleeping quilt, so we can sleep together, therefore shedding weight and having two sleeping bags. Our silk sheet, which gives us extra warmth and some comfort in there too. Sleeping pad, uh, inflatable sleeping pad. Again, two person system. 
and also a down pillow and a inflatable sea to summit pillow and we also have our handy dandy earplugs and sleeping mask just to block out any extra noise and light man all this talk about sleep makes me want to kind of tuck in there and take a little nap so i'll see you guys later all right guys that's it that's our sleep setup okay. any questions let us know if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We're gonna have more videos like this in the future. So stay tuned. Ta. Wind. What? I'm waiting for the wind.